FDI is the second system of our notation according to World Dental Federation notation. In this video, I will describe with you the FDI numbering system for permanent dentition, also for the deciduous dentition, and I will ask you some questions at the end of this video. In this numbering system, each tooth is identified by two digits. The first one represents the quadrant, and the second one for the tooth itself. And the first number that represents the quadrant for the permanent dentition ranges from 1 to 4. So the upper right quadrant 1, left upper quadrant 2, left lower quadrant 3, right lower quadrant 4. And the second number refers to the tooth number. It may be from 1 to 8 according to the number of the tooth, central incisor, lateral incisor, canine, first premolar, second premolar, first molar, second molar, and third molar. So from 1 to 8. So the upper right quadrant will be represented by number 1. For example, 1, 1 is upper right central incisor, and 1, 4 represents upper right first premolar. And for the upper left quadrant, we will use for the first digit number 2. So 2, 1, for example, is the upper left central incisor. 2, 7, for example, is the upper left second molar. For the lower left quadrant, we will use number 3 as the first digit. For example, 3, 1 will be the lower left central incisor. 3, 8 will be the lower left um, third molar. And in the last quadrant, which is the lower right, we will use number 4 as a first digit. So 4, 2, for example, will be the lower left lateral incisor. 4, 7, for example, will be lower right second molar. The FDI notation system for the baby or deciduous teeth is a little bit different from the permanent teeth as the quadrants starts from number 5 to number 8. For the upper right quadrant is 5, left upper quadrant 6, left lower quadrant 7, right lower quadrant is number 8. So here, if we start from the upper quadrant for the deciduous T's, the first digit will be number 5. So 5-1 five, refers to the uh, tooth upper right central incisor. And 5-2 upper right lateral incisor. 5-3 upper right canine. 5-4 upper right molar. 5-5 five, five, upper right second molar. And for the upper left quadrant of the deciduous teeth, we will use number 6 as the first digit. So 6, 4, for example, is the upper left first molar. And the lower left quadrant will be represented by number 7 for the first digit. For example, 7, 3 will represent the lower left canine. The last quadrant for the deciduous teeth will be the lower right quadrant will be that will be represented by number 8. For example, 8-2 represents the lower right lateral incisor. 8-4 represents the lower right and second molar. The last part of our video will be the questions. So please, if you know the answer, write it below down in the comments. So, according to FDI notation system, those numbers refer to the first one, 1-1, one, one. second one, 7-2, the third one, 4-8. I hope that you understand the FDI notation system. Thank you. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video and wait for the third part of the notation systems.